Hello to all of you. I'm going to give you an instruction how to apply short stay visa to Denmark. So if you're inviting you if you're the host inviting someone to Denmark, here are the steps you need to do or you need to yeah, do as a host. So I'm going to show you some sites or what are the steps that you need to do to invite someone here to Denmark. So First, you have to go to newdenmark.dk and then here are the selections of visa. Short stay visa are for those who's um, um, not relate. Um, I actually choose this one for anyone. If you, if it's a spouse, if it's already your wife or your husband, you're inviting to Denmark, so you have to choose the family. If it's an EU citizen. So it's this one, if it's asylum, work, and if, if someone is studying. Yes. So this is what I choose, short stay for my sister and for my mom. And then here is also another selection. Apply for visa to private visits and tourist visits, for business, for cultural visits. You're hosting a visa visit and want to invite the visa applicant. Actually chose this one yeah because these are for companies yeah so I'm not sure about this one but I chose this one and then I ended up in VU2 yes back I don't remember where is the yeah, but here are the informations you need to prepare. You have to pay a fee. Yes, the host fills an invitation, only private visits. This is the invitation. I just, just search for VU2, VU2 invitation for private visa for private visits. So you read this one and then you click next. And then you're going to log in with your NEMID. Log in with your name ID, and then afterwards you fill out all the information about the person you're visit you're inviting for a visit, and then you're going to get some um, you're going to get an invitation ID number. So once you're done with this, this one doesn't have any payment. You just need to pay this. You just need to fill out the form, and once you fill out the form and you're done, you you print it out, or you save it, download it, and send it to the person you're inviting. And then the next one is you're going to pay 80 euros for the visa. So you have to register and then fill out the information of that person. And then you pay 80 euros. And then after that, you will get um, a receipt and a cover letter. This is the cover letter. You will get the cover letter here. And then if you're inviting someone from the Philippines, they need to uh, show a ticket it's a pencil book means um, just uh, not the actual ticket could be the actual ticket but it's like a booking that they that it shows that the date of the it's like a it's like an actual ticket so this is our my sister website viajeras that one where you could get a pencil booking for philippine visit so there, remember this one is the invitation letter and this is for the cover letter that you pay 80 euros. And then you also need to, you also need to pay for the Schengen insurance for, yeah. And then check if, if the Schengen insurance is accredited to, I mean, if you buy insurance, check that it's the um, required. It says here like um, the insurance, wait, let me just, show you again the site so these are the what you need to know you have to fill out the private visit invitation that's the vu2 you have to gather documentation it's for the host invita the invitation from your danish host that's the one that is the vu2 it's the online invitation that will be submitted to foreign ministry 
Yes, and then travel insurance covering entire Schengen area, expected duration valid for the expectation dura duration of stay. For example, if they're, if they're planning to stay here from April 1 to 30 or May 1 to 30, so it should be like from the time. So it's from the date where they leave Philippines up to the time they come back. So it should be minimum coverage must be 30,000 euro. Passport or other valid a passport or other valid travel document should be valid at least 3 months after you plan departure due date. So it's better to have your passport uh, check the renewal date if it's still covered within I think it's about 6 months in the Philippines you need to at least have 6 months validity. And then passport photo, have it measure 35 millimeter by 45 millimeter. Rele relevant documentation such as information about the reason for the trip, proof that you have available accommodation, proof that you have sufficient means. So you could also, um, the person you're inviting needs to have sufficient amount of money for the duration of stay. I think it's like 50 US dollars a day. So calculate that depends on how long they're planning to stay here and I actually also give my so if you're the host you also have to provide the OSPRO OS, yeah the yearly SCAT document or you could also um, show your payslip three months payslip so all the documentation also the documentation that they for example if they are working in the Philippines, have it also attached to, to show that they are going to go back to the Philippines. Yes, that they have a proof that they're working. Yeah, it's, um, it's uh, a bit difficult if you don't have work in the Philippines, you could get denied because, you know, if, you're, if they're thinking that you're going to find work or, yeah, so it's best to have all the documentation ready, prepare, check your passport, and after, if all things are gathered, the VU2 invitation, the cover letter from apply visa, Schengen insurance, the pencil booking. Pencil booking is like, it's not the actual ticket, but it's like a ticket just to show that this is the uh, planned flight that you want to have if, if your visa is going to be approved. So, what else? And the uh, supporting documents. So, for example, if if the one you're inviting is related to you, show some photos would be also a good documentation that you are related to this person, or maybe a birth certificate if it's your mother you're inviting to Denmark. So, show that she's your parent, or she's your mom, or she's she's your dad. So, all the documentation needed supporting documents that uh, would prove that they are here for a visit or they're here for, for example, a, a big wedding celebration. So attach your wedding invitation, for example. So those are the supporting documents just to prove that they are here for a short visa. So if you have questions, feel free to ask or find the Viajeros page. That's a traveling agency in the Philippines. So. Good luck guys. I hope that you have your family for visit here and you enjoy your your time with your family. Bye for now. Happy weekend.